It started as a pretty typical press conference. Civility is the highest form of self-governance. Fifth District Democratic candidate Jane Dittmar delivered a prepared speech condemning hateful and malicious rhetoric in this campaign with supporters looking on. My family and my personal friends have been subject to cyberbullying. They say the worst of the negative rhetoric started after the campaign posted a photo on Facebook of a Trump supporter legally displaying a firearm outside their Fluvanna County office, urging supporters to call 911 if they feel uncomfortable. Since that post went up, our staff, volunteers, and I have been inundated with threats of physical violence, sexual assault, and unbelievably aggressive and disgusting comments. All right, take a breath. The press conference took a turn when Dittmar called up her communications director, Jenny Cox, to read some of those recent social media comments. If guns scare you, you pants should not be in office. You are a disgrace for what America stands for. Yourself. You are a disgusting pig. The crowd was shocked. Jane, mm, you are a and should, be disem should disembowel yourself with a spoon. Campaign staff called on Republican opponent Tom Garrett to condemn the comments and ended the event with Dittmar answering a few questions. Attack ideas, attack policy. Passionately disagree, but don't threaten people, don't in try to intimidate them. That's the important message here. When someone yelled over her voice, Tom Garrett will be here in 10 minutes to respond if anyone's interested in what he has to say. Dittmar left soon after. Around the same time, Tom Garrett arrived and Dittmar reappeared. You hear what my message was? Yeah, and I'm going to join you. Uh, the only thing I'm disappointed in is being condemned for failing to condemn. If you'd have asked us to join you in condemning negative campaigning, we'd have been right there with you and done a joint That's statement. That's what we're doing. Yeah, well. So we can do it right now. Yeah, Let's absolutely. I think the two candidates agreed to mutually condemn the negative tone. Personal attacks that are completely unwarranted. So, again, the only thing, you know, that we're a little taken aback by is the statement that says, you know, you're condemning us for not condemning. This is the first we've heard of it. We're delighted to join you Good. in condemning uh, the negative tone. While surprised that one candidate showed up to another candidate's event, political analyst Jeffrey Skelly holds out hope that the spectacle could have a silver lining. I mean, I can't really think of a, a similar uh, situation like this, at least, uh, I mean, I just, nothing else pop comes to mind. You know, perhaps this is actually an interesting new way of making people more aware of what's happening, of what people are actually saying, and to maybe cool temperatures down a little bit.